three long months, but Rafael Hernandez still can't get September 11th out of his mind. You haven't washed this shirt since September 11th. I haven't washed that shirt. I just put it over there. He tore ligaments in both knees, escaping the disaster. Oh, my God. You don't know. You got no idea. This is nothing that you can describe when you got the pain. Rafael always hated planes, has been on one only three times. Now the images have been burned into his memory. When I see that plane go into the building, like the, like the building eat the plane. And at the same time, that explosion, I say, that's it. His eldest daughter worried about him, but she counted on his wife, Carla, to help him through this. He was traumatized, and she was the one there every time he woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning. And so she assured me that he was going to be fine. He was starting to be fine, so much so that he ignored his nightmares about planes crashing and for his wife's birthday put her and their baby girl on a plane November 12th. It turned out to be flight 587 to the Dominican Republic. When I see the 587 to the Dominican Republic, only I read this and I cover myself again. I think I say I'm dreaming. I don't know what it is. Then I say 587. I look again and I raise the volume. The crash, when I hear the crash, then is when I crash myself. What are I going to do? I just got to walk back and forth, back and forth. I was white with no blood. His 10-year-old daughter, who had cried on September 11, thinking she had lost her father, went into shock hearing that instead she had lost her mother and baby sister. She said, you better go back to the airport and pick Mommy and Joanne. Papi, you better bring me back up to me. She was like a woman. <laughs> Now she pictures them as angels up above. What do you think your mom and Joanny are doing in heaven now? Looking at us. Looking at us? And smiling? And is that why you like to smile so much? Because you want to make sure your mom knows that you're happy? Yeah? How else can one bear the weight of two tragedies? I give him the gift of life, of death, not the gift of life. When I give him that ticket for her, for her birthday, it's like, like uh, giving her die. You're going to die on this. I mean, I feel even guilty. That's the worst thing. But how do I know that the plane going to crash? Or know that the tiny altar outside the house would be for her and not him. And inside, two little birds for the two spirits gone. And on video, memories of the littlest one, Yuani, the family clown. If you feel this, that was the way my daughter felt. You know, I got to sleep with my with this thing to feel her because she always wasn't there. She got to be in there like that all the time. I love you, I love you, and I kiss her on the back. I, I really love the little kid. Mommy, as they called her, was Laura's best friend and confidant. Every time my mom had problems, she talked to me and she'd feel all better. She'd feel all better? She wrote her daughter children's books that Laura and Dad now struggle to finish. I am feeling kind of sad today. Now they travel to Carla's grave to pray for her and to try to understand. Her mother tells them not to be afraid of the enormity of their loss. They are, after all, not alone in this tragedy. The pain these days is universal and oh so large. It's okay, Mama Levy. Maria Hinojosa, CNN, New York.